This is also important to video record. We're going to take a date and time. Uh, it's it's unbelievable what this. Uh, American. Judo American, London 1 800 Cabal, what they're doing. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I just went to Express UK here. And they claim that Israel is overwhelmed by Hezbollah rockets as Iran begins unleashing hell. So this would give you an impression that Iran attacked Israel. Um, but if you go to, to yahoo.com, this is an American website. It becomes evident that it was Israel that attacked Iran. This is number one thing. And it appears that Iran retaliated against Israel, that it was tit for tat. So... I really don't understand. And then you go and you Google Iran, and you're going to get the information such as this here. Israel expects Iranian attack within 48 hours. And in the second news, this was 11 hours ago, Iran aims to contain fallout in Israel response. Will not be hasty. IDF says... It's on a high alert for Iranian attack 24 hours ago. Iran signals a calibrated retaliation to Israeli strike. I don't understand because why is it they don't talk about Israel? What happened here? I don't understand. It's like we are fucking missing something because in case of Israel, it's always Iran that is guilty of everything. And so, but it appears that it was Israel, the first one that committed something, right? And then you have this jewel from Equal Employment Opportunity, so-called Equal Employment Opportunity from Washington, D.C., saying that he expects Iran will attack Israel sooner than later because Palestine is not in a war with Israel. Israel is United States of America. Israel is 1-800-London cabal. Israel is armed with a German submarines. Israel is armed with Western coalition, with absolutely West. Whatever the West has best is basically what they get to welfare themselves. It's what they get for free. And afterwards, even sell Western technology for peanuts to whomever is willing to pay for one. But this doesn't matter because he expects that Iran is going to attack Israel sooner than later. Tensions rise in expectation of Iran retaliation against Israel. But what kind of retaliation? What happened? The U.S. restricts Staff travel in Israel, am it possible? Biden says he expects Iran will attack Israel. Israel on edge for Iranian retaliation after embassy strike. After embassy strike? Wait a minute. What kind of embassy strike?
Iran consulate adjacent to the main Iranian embassy building, which Iran said had killed several military personnel, injured two key figures in Quds Force in the Syrian capital of Damascus, Syria, April 2, 2024. I don't understand. I don't get any any of this stuff here. I, it's like we're missing something big time. Like we're going to take a date and time here. And I'm going to start to go into what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. We are watching the Israel already threatening to nuke Iran already for the last, I don't know, 20 years at least. 30 years that they're going to nuke Iran and nuke Iran and nuke Iran. This is like a 30 years as a country. Iran is a country that is under the nuclear threat from Israel already for the last 30 years. So this is this is like nothing new really. This is like nothing new really.
So it was Israel that attacked Damascus embassy, that they, they blow up the embassy in, in Syria, Iranian embassy. Like, Jew is saying, hey, Iran, you don't have the right to have a presence in a Muslim state such as Syria, basically. This is what we have going on now. And so now they are preparing together with Americans, you're attack, uh, preparing the attack on Iran. They already did, because the question in this case is only how much of the war can a student debt forgiveness? That's what the Joe Biden does. Joe Biden is buying wars through a student loan forgiveness. They go to the forgiveness, basically. He is a student debt forgiveness boy, a Democrat. Uh, which basically in the history of the United States of America, we did not have a single president that was as bloodthirsty as this American Democrat. He is one disgrace for whatever good America stood for in its past. Fascist, neo-Nazi fascist, like unlike any other we have seen in the history of the United States of America. I think this man is worse than Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is bad, but I think I think this motherfucker is about 10 times worse than Donald Trump. He's bloodthirsty like no other president in the U.S. history. We have not seen anything like this yet. He, he built his career, basically, his presence on a political stage, the tolerance for ethnic cleansing, yearly on the so-called student debt forgiveness programs. That's what we have seen throughout his presidency. How many times did he announce a new student debt forgiveness? That's all there was. And so what he does is he feeds the crowds with whatever other presidents have ensured, uh, have deprived. I'm not saying that this is not the right thing to do. I'm just saying that he shouldn't have the right to do this. I'm just saying that this kind of authority, he shouldn't have one. He doesn't have authority to authorize assistance to Ukraine, military assistance without approval of the Congress. But it seems like he has uh, uh, a total authority to throw away money on something like a student debt forgiveness. So basically, he is buying a hunger in the United States of America. He is buying a human soul with through deprivation, basically through what through whatever it was Donald Trump, uh, Barack Obama, George Bush. Bill Clinton, all this presence we had in the past, whatever they managed to starve people uh, is what he is using now to release into the economy so that people would not protest his... Uh, I don't even know how I would say this. I don't, I don't know how you would, how would, you would even... even uh, how you could even explain this kind of lunacy. Because this is all about colonialism. This is all about the Nazism. I mean, how can you explain? How can you see what's happening? Syria is not Israel. This is another country. It's a Muslim country also. How can you, as Israeli, regulate another country as per who they are allowed to host in their country or not. Like, who the fuck are you to tell if Iran can have embassy in Syria, in Damascus? And it's amazing because London supports this kind of stuff. They blow this stuff. They, they, they over... They blow this out of proportions. They go for it. They incite in this kind of stuff.
It's amazing. And they are doing this because they have the war in Ukraine going on at the same time. What exactly that means? Everybody, all the goats from Eastern Europe, are looking with their eyes wide open, uh, like uh, toward hope, like save us, you know, save us. That's what they see in London. Like they seem like they're the only one that can save us. When they all, in fact, are together with Russia in it, it's all part of the big plan. It's all part of the big picture. So that Eastern Europe will not raise itself up, will not protest against this kind of stuff. Nor will Western Europe. Which traditionally served to colonialist, colonialism colonialist political agenda and then nobody will protest now americans are starved they get them by the throats through the lack of employment through the most severe discrimination at the local employment agencies workforce agencies they have throughout the u.s there is nothing other than a fake job advertisement through American outlets, whether you look job search, whether you do the job search, whatever you do is they advertise jobs, they advertise how much they pay you, and I don't know what. But at the same time, they have 45 million people on the poverty. It's a like staggering number. United Kingdom, Britain, they have 15 million in poverty. So uh, it's like you can't get the job. You, it's not like you go to the employment office and you say, hey, you have to pay me for unemployment. You have to. This country has become a surveillance state. And they'll drag people jobless for as long as they can till they withdraw the last dime from the banking accounts. Oftentimes, we push people under the bridge to pay for the social security. So to say, make them homeless so they can they can get rid of these masses as fast as possible. Do the turnover economy. So they can pay for this kind of presence in area of Israel, protecting one uh, for the sake of their greater political agenda, which is a colonialism throughout the Mideast, Northern Africa, Africa is whole. Based on what I see here, based on what I see here, Israel overwhelmed by Hezbollah rockets as Iran begins unleashing hell. Um, we're going to have a real soon we're going to have a war. You were able to see that. Look at this. Bloodthirsty American president already positioned American ships so they can defend So they can defend this year. Look. Really? They say it's now 33,600. Really? I remember, I think yesterday it was like 35,000 that were already killed. Now it's all of a sudden 33,600. Like, they're getting less and less killed. Bizarre, man. No, actually, I was wrong. It's it was thirty three thousand five hundred something like this, and it's now thirty 
33,634. This is what your, your student loan debt forgiveness in the United States of America is paying for. I can't breathe program. This is called I cannot breathe program. Biden says that he expects Iran will attack Israel sooner than later. But this guy is mentally retarded. This guy is definitely sick. Sorry, not retarded, but sick. Criminally insane. Wasn't it Israel that blew the embassy out of earth in Damascus a few days ago? He's not concerned with Israel, but he is concerned with Iran that Iran is going to attack. Israel is going to attack Iran. Actually, that Iran is going to attack Israel at any time. This is in fucking insane. Hey, look at that. Five minutes ago, U.S. moves warships to defend Israel in case of Iranian attack. So what is it going to be Iranian attack? I don't understand this stuff. I don't understand any of it. Any of it at all, because during MK Ultra, it was a dilemma with people taking sides, some people with Iran and other people with the United States of America. So I know 100% that a Jew in Israel was totally, totally excited about what they wanted to do already for the last 30 years. And that's basically blow Iran completely off Earth. Nuke one, basically. This is insane. 33,650 people, Gazan people dead, close to 80,000 wounded, crippled, and God knows what the real numbers are. The embassy from Iran blown up in Damascus, and this is the news they are providing us with. This is basically what we get. This is what we get. Uh, as much as I uh, did, supported U.S. and Western coalition in this uh, throughout my life, it had proven to be a most severe mistake I have done it. Iran to attack Israel in 48 hours. According to MKUltra, it was um, Iran that got completely, completely destroyed. 
this is what they were doing with me during MK Ultra, and this was the stuff that went well in line with the 2010, something like this, 2009 even. They anticipated how they're going to exercise attack together with Americans on Iran and uh, get one destroyed entirely. We, I haven't seen Joe Biden for so many days. We haven't seen one in, in the media anywhere. Now he serves like a, like a good old demon as he is. I mean, he looks like a demon. I worry about this individual. When, when he looks like a demon, it's most likely the demon. devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. Thank you very much. Um, this is a disgraceful thing. This is a third world country. <laughs> um, what, what was that about? Um, this guy literally could not be a president long time already if it was not also for Donald Trump. It wasn't about a student debt loans about. Country. Just days before Donald Trump becomes the first former president to go on criminal trial. It's all coming out of the DOJ. A thing like this has never happened before. His unyielding and fact-challenged rhetorical defense on the campaign trail obscured a stark reality. These radical left lunatics want to interfere with our elections by using law enforcement. What he alleges is the exact authority Trump plans to claim in a second term, according to a CNN review of campaign policy proposals and conversations with advisors and allies. The threats leveled at his opponents. I will appoint a real special prosecutor to go after the most corrupt president in the history of the United States. <laughs> uh, I thought he doesn't like the police. Uh... United States of America, Joe Biden. Ready to be acted on well, so. if voters return him to the Oval uh, Office. As one Washington Republican who talks to the Trump campaign framed it, Democrats hit first, we are going to hit back harder. When confronted with the lack of any evidence of White House involvement, the Republican said, that's what he believes. That's what his people believe. And unlike last time, this is his party now. And many voters don't seem to mind. Trump has repeatedly attacked prosecutors and judges, their families, their relationships, former officials, and his political opponents. He called for former GOP Congresswoman Liz Cheney and the rest of the January 6th committee to be jailed. He's even floated execution. This individual is, is this I'm not going to even comment, but Joe Biden is a war criminal. And the thing is, he's just as insane. The two are completely identical people. It's like a mirror from one another. Joe Biden definitely could not be a president without a student loan forgiveness program and without Donald Trump. That's the bottom line. Uh, expect retaliation for, expect the retaliation basically for, uh, 
for attack on Iran, which they planned on together with the United States of America since 2010, at least 2009. Uh, latest development, actual development that involved was blowing up Iranian embassy. They don't want to talk about this stuff. They don't want this stuff to be seen. Um, hey, what the fuck is that if you blow an embassy, right? I mean, it's not American embassy, so that's not a big of a deal. It's just Iranian embassy. I mean, what would you think would have happened if this would be American embassy? Yeah, like I said... This embassy from Iran, in fact, was located in Syria. That's not in the state of Israel, but in Syria. But it seems like that Israel claims the ownership already of also not only Gaza, but also of Damascus, also of Syria. Seems like they're already in charge for everybody. They started to police everybody around and making their law and order. Uh, the way they want, yeah. So the war will be just about any time now, uh, just as they have designed to be, more bloodshed, more killing. And the world is numb to this stuff because they're, you're like a ship, like a goat, staring at London, 1-800-London-Cabal. Berlin, that are supplying... Ukraine with, well, let's see what's happening in Ukraine. Uh, based on this stuff, it looks like they will defend Ukraine. Because they, they rationalize the crime on the Medias is being rationalized. Extermination done on the Medias is being rationalized with at least some just war that's taking place in Ukraine, basically. So I believe that they will defend Ukraine. I believe they will do something for Ukraine, but it's going to come for the cost of having Mideas basically burned to the ground all the way to Iran. In addition to Libya, in addition to Egypt, in addition to... Uh, Algeria, where United States of America already start war, uh, in addition to uh, Syria that they burned to the ground, in addition to Iraq that's burned to the ground, uh, in addition to other countries in area that being destroyed, burned, uh, it's I Iran is going to be just one more. They will add to that assortment, and so. That would be that much easier, that's easier job for a British to settle in an area of Yemen and so on. This is what they planned on, uh, to create dots, to create their punkts together with Americans uh, so they could restart the process which causes so many colonies around the world. Yeah, I mean, Ukrainians will bleed as fuck. Ukrainians are going to piss blood even more because this is the way it works, because Joe Biden is going to portray him. What he's doing, basically, the people in the Mideast, what's going to happen is he will rationalize, he will apologize, all the death, all the devastation that's being done to the Palestinian people foremost. Now, never mind Syria, what they turn into a ash. Uh, they will justify this with the losses of Ukrainian people to Russia, whom, however, they will assist. So because Joe Biden is still looking forward the next to, he doesn't want to be seen as a war criminal. He's doing this. He is a war criminal. He's a maniac 
like none other we have seen in the history of the world. But he is doing this in a such a way with his Western coalition that so at expense of Ukrainian people, literally, bleeding Ukraine completely, so that still he will be seen as something that stood up to uh, ultimate evil, basically. This is how this works. This is exactly how it works. It's exactly what I suggest on the website, my blog already before. This is a lunatic that is going to bleed Ukraine to the last drop of death before he's going to bail one out. He definitely is a, not a war criminal, but this is, this is the worst beast that ever was in the history of the world. This is this is this is this individual is worse than Adolf Hitler, I think. This individual is so dangerous, like no other president in the United States of America. This individual was involved in all the wars that took place for the last 50 years. Just so you know who this guy is. Go and see how many people were dead during the last 50 years, and you're gonna see who this guy is. Yeah, I mean this is this is just the way it is. This is this is just the program. This is the this is the way it works. We definitely will have war. Um, within just a matter of days, I think, if not hours. Uh, that you know, will apply to Iran, that's one thing. And the second thing is they also plan on the most severe starvation of Gaza. That will cost thousands and thousands of lives in Gaza. So that um, this is who Joe Biden is. This is his presidency. It's the bloodiest president in the history of the world, not in the United States of America. This is a student adept forgiveness president. But he's a Democrat, and his bodies are not going to call him out. They're out there for other purposes. Can't breathe purpose. <laughs>